Welcome to the third of a series of videos from chapter six, section one, subsection one. This one dealing with constructing a parabolic template for drawing moment diagrams and arches and suspension structures. In a previous discussion, we ascertained that the moment curve for a simple span beam is parabolic in nature. In this case, it's all above whatever the plot line is. In other words, the moment is always positive. Based on our original convention that we were going to just draw this moment curve uh, or this uh, orientation for our moment uh, in the counterclockwise direction on this interface. <clears throat> if we had chosen to draw it in the opposite direction, which would have been just, been just as legitimate, we would have been choosing a clockwise moment, and then we would have deduced that in the simple span beam, uh, it's the opposite of that. <clears throat> in the end though, which of those conventions we choose is totally arbitrary. For this class, we're going to say that on the right end of this free body, we're gonna, rotate, we're gonna show a counterclockwise moment and that'll be our convention all the way through. Key point here is there's a parabola which we used to um, generate this curve. Similarly for cantilevers, we have exactly the same parabola because the shape of this parabola actually is driven by the magnitude of the uniform load W. <clears throat> In the case of the cantilever, this moment curve is entirely below the zero line so we have negative moments in every case, but the parabola is exactly identical, which kind of hints at the fact that this parabola is a very powerful tool once we understand how to move it around and use it. <clears throat> and by the way, from our point of view, positive moment means it's inducing this kind of curvature, the smiley face. Uh, negative moment means it's producing the frowny face uh, with tension at the top, compression at the bottom, whereas up here we have compression at the top and tension at the bottom. And for our purposes, that is the meaning of positive and negative moment. Okay, so we understand that we can arm ourselves to draw these kind of diagrams if we have a sloped line to represent the variation in shear as a result of the uniform load distribution. And likewise, if we have a parabola to represent the moment curve. <clears throat> now, armed with those, we can do a bunch of different drawings. In this case, we have a simple span beam with this parabola. If we start moving the supports in from each end, the further in the support comes, the longer the cantilever gets, the worse the negative moment. There's a certain optimum at 20.7% of the overall length of the building of the beam, at which point this negative moment is just equal to that positive moment. We can do the same kind of thing for our single cantilevers where we move the support in further and further until this negative moment is just equal in magnitude to the magnitude of that positive moment. So we know that uh, a parabolic template could be a very useful tool in expressing for us what's going on in terms of the variation of moment internal to a beam. <clears throat> there are a lot of ways we could go about creating this template. Um, and we can actually just noodle our way through this. And I tend to like to do that. But in this case, to be a little more formal, we're going to talk about the way it's usually done mathematically. So we're going to go to create a parabola that's eight inches wide and four inches high. Now, the reason I picked that is eight inches is a convenient dimension. Uh, it's slightly less than the width of an eight and a half wide, eight and a half inch wide sheet of paper. And four inches high it has proven to be a pretty good height to give a good read in the various kinds of moment curves that can come out 
depending upon the support configuration under the beam. Um, <clears throat> in the final analysis, the height of this parabola is an arbitrary graphic issue. You want it to be not so tall that things start to uh, have dimensions beyond the vertical dimension of your paper, but on the other hand, you don't want it so shallow that certain moment curves don't read very well. Four inches has turned out to be pretty good for this technique. We're also going to talk about doing a two inch version and how that gets done, but for the moment we're going to focus on four inches. We're going to begin with our generalized equation of a parabola, which is y equals kx squared plus c. So it's an x squared dependence for y. And, and then there's a constant which allows us to move it up and down. <clears throat> K and C are both constants. Um, if we want a specific parabolic curve, we have to nail down K and C. And the way we do it is we identify some coordinates that we know exist on our parabola. We plug those coordinate values in for Y and X, and that allows us to solve for K and C. So, among the points that we know are that y is going to equal 4 when x is equal to 0 and that follows by the definition or if you wish from this goal that we set to have a 4 inch high parabola. So if we plug in those coordinates y is equal to 4 so in this equation we put y equals 4 and we end up with that. We put x equal to 0 so we're plugging 0 in here and we get that plus c. This term obviously goes to zero, and we just end up with c equals four. We also have this point, y equals zero when x equals four. It's also true when x equals minus four, and either of those points would work, but I'm lazy and didn't want to carry along a minus sign, so I put zero and four. So we take y equal to zero, that goes here, x equal to four, so we plug four in there and we have this, plus 4 because we already proved that c is plus 4. So we have k times 16 plus 4 is equal to 0 and when we solve for k we get minus 1 over 4. So the final parabola is y equals minus x squared over 4 plus 4. <clears throat> so when x is equal to 0, y is equal to plus 4. That's what we want. When x is equal to 4, we get 4 squared, which is 16, over 4, which is 4, but there's a minus sign here and a plus sign there. So we have minus 4 plus 4, and it turns out to be 0. And the same is true when we plug minus 4 in here, because when we square that, it becomes 16 over 4, and we still have this minus sign. So we can take all that information and put it into a spreadsheet, and across the top we're talking about generating coordinates for the parabola. Here we have the 8 inch wide by 4 inch tall parabolic template with the formula that we just derived. So here's x going from 0 at the center, 1, 2, 3, 4, and here's what we get from this formula. So in this cell we've written in the effect of this, which is for this cell we're going to say minus the square of that over 4 plus 4, and we end up with 4. And then if we uh, fill down, uh, this formula just fills on down and we end up with these coordinates. <clears throat> now the thing I want you to note is, I didn't bother going back and deriving the formula for a two inch tall parabola. And the reason is that parabolas scale perfectly. So once we've generated this parabola, we can just say, well, if we want it two inches tall, we're gonna divide every one of these coordinates to get the corresponding coordinate on the other side. So 4 over 2 is 2, 3 over 2 is 1 and a half, 3.75 over 2 is 1.875, and so forth. <clears throat> now, if we take that, those numbers, we can put them into uh, a shape like this, where we say that's 4 inches, this is 3.753, 3, 1.75, and so forth. And by the way, all this was generated in AutoCAD um, using the spline function. And um, this is our, from this line right here, 
around there is our four inch template. And we included the rest of this because we want a nice smooth tangent here uh, at that key point. Now, on the same diagram, by the way, we have the two inch. So if we turn that one over, or turn the template over, in this orientation, it's the four inch tall parabola. In this one, it's the two inch tall parabola. And again, which of those you choose depends solely on how you think it's going to look in the end. That ends our video on constructing a parabolic template that can be used for drawing moment diagrams and for drawing arches and suspension structures.